Oh. I did not notice you find people there. I am Chef Zeph. I will be teaching you today how to make a bacon and scrambled egg savory crepe. It is absolutely exquisite. It will be made with a little bit of Chef Zeph's special sauce. It is quite exquisite. It's utterly exquisite. Chef Zeph makes exquisite savory crepes. All right guys, so these are the ingredients you're gonna need. Two and a third cup of milk, 13.4 ounces of all-purpose flour, two eggs, a fourth a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of butter, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of cooking spray to spray the pan for the crepes, and that is all going to be for the crepe mix. And then over here, we're gonna be making the bacon and scrambled eggs for the insides, and it's gonna be four eggs, a pack of bacon, a third cup of pepper jack cheese, and a little bit of Chef Zeph's special sauce. All right guys, so now we have to incorporate all of the ingredients for the crepe mix. So first we're gonna start off with the eggs. Bloop. We're gonna add the butter. God damn it! We're gonna extract this shit. Apparently we have a little melting problem here. So we're gonna lift the whisk a little bit here. Get it nice and incorporated. You want that butter all nice and melted so there's no buttery clumps in there, you know? All right. Then we're gonna add the milk, slowly. Slowly add the milk. Making crepe mix requires a lot of flicking of the whisk. There we go, all right. Take your shit done GLB style. So now we have to incorporate the rest of the sugar. Keep whisking while doing all of this. Now we're gonna add a little bit of our salt. Then the final ingredient is gonna be flour. But when you're doing the flour, you gotta make sure you sift it all through this guy because if you don't sift it, you're gonna get some big old fat flour chunks in there. So we're just gonna keep slowly adding the flour little bits at a time and then keep flicking the fucking whisk. It's gonna take a goddamn minute for all of this shit to get incorporated. It's like a very thin pancake batter. It's gonna be fucking delicious, especially when you put my special sauce all on it. So now you gotta look at the flick of the whisk. Look at this flicking of the whisk. Holy fucking shit. Okay, all right, I think we're good here though. All right, look at this. Mmm, delicious. And that's what we're looking for, guys. JLB style. All right, guys, so now we have to preheat the oven for the bacon for the little delicious egg bacon scramble mixture going inside the savory crepes. We're gonna preheat it at 375, and we're gonna cut the bacon for 12 to 15 minutes. Oh, hi. Okay, well, we're going to be placing the bacon on the tin foil. And then we're going to put it in the oven. Cellulite. There we go. Now we're going to put that bitch in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes. And I'm going to wash my hands. Alright guys, and we're back. After waiting an hour and a half for our oven to preheat to 375, we are now going to take this delicious tray of bacon and place it into the oven. Preheat that shit, get that shit done, it needs 12 to 15 fucking minutes, hit that fucking button, boop, we're gonna fucking wait, I'll see you then. Beep, 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 cool down for a little bit and then we gotta pat it dry or either drain the bacon grease so you can keep it for later. Alright guys, now we're gonna dice the bacon into little tiny slices. Get them nice and small. The bacon doesn't have to be all the way cooked because we're gonna be re-sauteing it again, getting all that nice delicious fat to cook the scrambled eggs in. Alright guys, now that we got the bacon all chopped up, brought it over here next to the stove. I have now preheated both of my skillets that I'm gonna be using. I have a large one over here for crepes. And I have a little medium sized one over here for our egg and bacon mixture. Whisk together our eggs. We are making scrambled eggs. Get those yolks nice and broken with the fork. Whisk that stuff together. Get a little bit of our coconut oil spray. Give it a little light spray. Do not do this over an open flame. Very stupid. You will create a fucking flamethrower. You're going to add a little bit of bacon now to the egg pan. We now are going to move over to the crepes. A little ladle here and all our, our delicious, delicious smooth crepe mix. Place it right in the middle, you're gonna have to move a little quickly. The crepe pan is at a medium temperature, and then to make a crepe, you're just gonna get the pan and just shake it around in a circle like so. Get it nice and thin. Now we're just gonna wait and let that cook. You don't actually have to wait for the entire crepe to be cooked. Wait until you see the edges brown up a little bit. The middle is still not cooked. Wait until it browns up, and we are gonna give it a nice little flip. Boom, all right. 
And then now we're going to cook the last little part of the crepe on the other side. Does not have to really actually cook for that long because they are very little tiny dead pancakes. And then we're going to add actually a little bit of cheese. Since it is still hot, we're going to have a little bit of the residual heat cook the rest of this cheese. Oh, bam, that spice. You got to love that shit. So now we're going to take this and then transfer it over. Oh, God, that is a hot as fuck. We're going to do that. Add, apply a little bit more pressure on the top of this nozzle. A little bit more cream mix in the center, and then we gotta do a little bit more of that shake, you know? Shake what your mama gave you. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, shake what your mama gave you. Twerk it like Miley, man. Twerk it like Miley. A little bit more flex here, a little bit more flex of the bacon. Woo! So we're gonna crispen up the bacon a little bit more, and then we're gonna add the egg mixture. All right. Get all that in there. Get all this shit around. You don't want all the bacon just coagulated in one spot. You want it all over the place. You don't want to just get one big old bite of egg with no bacon because you're going to be a sad panda. You guys get better get ready for this. Get ready for this. Look at this. Look how delicious this looks. That's some homemade meal right there. Mm. Something your grandma would make. You know what I mean? Then we're going to flick. We're going to flick. You guys ready for this? You ready? You ready? You ready? Oh! There we go. And to turn that off, let the residual heat cook. Just let it sit there for a minute. Don't let it get brown though. Don't let it get brown. And we're done, guys. I'll see you over there to assemble them. Alright guys, now after you've assembled all of your ingredients and you got all the crepe shells done, you got your bacon and scrambled egg mix done, we're gonna assemble these bitches, make them look all pretty. So we got our crepe mix, we got the residual heated cheese melted on top of these bitches, add a little bit of that sriracha sauce. Ooh yeah, nice and fancy. Then we are gonna add a little bit of our scrambled egg bacon mixture. Now we are just gonna take these, align all the ingredients right in the center. Just gonna roll them like a little tiny burrito. Like a little tiny burrito! They're delicious. Fucking love them. Two little tiny burritos. Voila. Now, I'm gonna go over there real quick and I'm gonna show you guys how to plate these bitches. And now we're back. Get a little bit of your Chef Zef's special sauce. A little bit of that nice, ooh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Pick up your little burrito. Just place it on that shit. Nice and gentle like. I'm gonna get your special sauce. We just want to achieve a couple little dots on top. Just for the aesthetic pleasingness to your eyeballs. We're going to add a little bit of the extra pea jack. Just top that shit off right there. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. But that's basically it. Voila. Savory breakfast crepe with bacon. Deliciousness in there. Don't you guys just want to try it? <clears throat> hey, you are, sir. Hmm, delightful. Yes. Why, this meal looks rather exquisite. Would you... Would you like a little bit of a beverage? I would love a bit uh, of a beverage. There you are, sir. This is the finest vodka. Ah. I made it on my potato farm this morning. This is some fine, fine, fine china. You can tell by the size. So you Very know it's, it's, it's good stuff. Little cheers, yes, sir? Cheers. Yes. Mm. That's some good vodka. Well, right. shall we dig in? Shall we? All right, yeah. let's get a little cut here. Mmm, yes. Cutting like a burrito. Like Has what? the consistency of a enchilada. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh dear. Mmm. My napkin fell off. Ooh. It was that scrumptious. Oh my lord. Oh, oh, oh. When in doubt, picky out, my good chum. Ah. It's like cutting the skin of an infant. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at yeah. that. All that swag. Got that swag. Feet, look at this. I don't care if you jerk off to it. Baby Gap is not pornography. <laughs>